Hi, I'm Rob, and in this Gems of War video, I'm going to show you how we do the Epic Trials of Midnight. Team Order in Strategy. So, actually, an interesting team we've been given here, and there's three different methods of getting rid of the opponent. Either by making them run off in terror, that is the one you're going to rely on a little bit of luck for. We can also do some skull spam by converting red to purple and converting all blue to skulls. And we can hit them with some damage at the same time and get double damage if they're terrified. Now we can terrify them in various ways. If you've got the half Damon Knight from the, I think it's Kingdom Pass, level 10, you can get that. You can unlock the traits and therefore benefit from that inflict terror when I match skulls. I haven't got him yet, so I'm going to have to do without him. But he's still really good anyway. Destroys a column and inflicts terror on an enemy for each blue gem destroyed and gains barrier. So we'll target a, a, a column where there's plenty of blue, get the enemy terrified, and then if there's one at the bottom, there's a 10% chance they'll just run away, which is a bit like Deathmark. They're just effectively killed, removed from the team. And there's a chance that the other troops could move down one in the order. And if they end up at the bottom, a chance that they'll run away. Now, Damon Child is, again, useful in this team. He creates seven blue gems boosted by terrified enemies. She also can inflict terror when I match skulls, but they'll only come into play if I lose the top troop. But the idea is to cast her first when all the enemy are terrified. With that times two ratio, that's an extra eight blue. If the entire enemy team is terrified, that create a total of 15 blue gems, which is a really good chance of charging up the Midnight Queen, who converts all red to purple and blue to doom skulls. So all those blue that could get left behind have a chance to be converted really nicely into an epic load of skull spam and she inflicts terror for good measure on the strongest enemy and inflicts terror on a random enemy when matching four or more gems so a good way to go with this i've changed the team around slightly from the beginning order but um regarding the enemy lady of bones you want to concentrate on trying to get rid of her sharpish converts all the brown gems to skulls and gives magic plus one armor to an ally can be a problem and Bonehound also creates nine skulls and summons a Bonehound. And just a quick note, the, the battle before this, I think it was the Epic Trial Tier 4, the Midnight King was in the team. And that is the one you want to concentrate on on the previous round before this because he has a summon. And when I got down to him, he kept on summoning a, a, a troop, which made it a bit slower, but I got through it in the end. But yeah, on the previous round before this, concentrate on the Midnight King first if you can. And to the battle. So we're looking to get our top troop charged up if we can. I've got one Medal of Arnu on and two times Nysha. So I'm looking to cast this quite often. If you're going to concentrate more on the skulls, then stick on the medals, which give you more attack. You set us up rather nicely. Thank you very much. Nice couple of extra skulls there. I'm going to hit him with these skulls while I can. Oh, no, an extra bonus one at the end. That was quite nice. There's three blue over here. This is pretty decent. This means we can inflict terror on three enemies. Now already, this is actually a pretty good cast for this. Going to create an extra six blue gems, which is 13 altogether. But not yet, because there's not enough blue on the board. So, okay amount now. Still don't mind giving them a wallop for this first. Again, not a huge amount of blue. It's got a decent chance though. An extra six, can be 13 blue. Yeah, let's go for it. Oh! Mahusive failure. Never mind. Let's make sure that everybody's inflicted with terror. And somebody's vanished already. Um, not a huge amount of choices here. Grab that first. We'll charge her up. Give me a wallop with that. I mean, you can lose one or troops, one or two troops, troops during this, which um, can happen, but it 
But, but hang in there, because don't give up, because all the while these are terrified. They can just run off. That bottom troop can just say, oh, I've had enough of this. I'm, I'm going to give it legs and actually do a runner. There's no harm in reapplying the terror either by casting this. If you like, you get a barrier at the same time, remember? I'll see if I can get my demon child up. She didn't quite get charged. So here we go. Look, we've got one who's recovered from the terror already. So I'm going to chuck that over there and make sure everybody's terrified again. Right, do we have any blue to skulls in a four match alignment? Nope. Do we have any red to purple in a four match alignment? No. Never mind. Got three enemies terrified though. Quite a bit of blue there. This is worth a shot. Worked out a little bit better that time. So we've got blue and skulls all over the place now. They do take a hell of a lot of walloping though from, from skulls, it has to be said. They really hang in there. Even though I'm about to create loads of skulls. They still take a heck of a beat in. Do it that way first. In this situation here where you're going to trade skulls. Kind of like to cast this instead sometimes if there's a decent amount of blue. On the board, but it's not a huge amount. Only seven. Still gonna be thirteen generated. It's no okay chance, and they don't use blue. So we'll give it a go and set ourselves up. Hopefully for the skulls, we got some here. Blue to doom skulls. Nice chain reactions. We have that first. Go for it again. Got red to sc uh, red to purple now. You can get cascades from that, giving you skull hits and more damage. See how they've changed places. You see, still so haven't been, I haven't been casting this one yet, but they've changed places. So I was getting close to, to, to killing him but he's swapped places with that so terror it can sometimes in a way work mildly against you especially if the troop up top was say one or two skull hits away from being killed and it drops down one you may have to target it with your fire instead that's kind of why she's there as a targeting troop all right let's create some more blue this is good for our Skull Spammer again. We'll take the Skull hit this time. Come on, someone's got to run off at some point. Might target that troop at the bottom with my fire because... Hang on, has he got any... No, the reduction from... Skulls, so I can actually hit it with this, make him disappear. That's a good way to go about it as well because the last troop is the one that has a danger, has a chance to run off, and he's near death anyway. So if I get rid of him, this one at the bottom, then that puts that one in the danger zone. And that's exactly what happened. That couldn't have actually worked out better. What happened there? There was still one troop left. That was really weird. The Damon child was still there. Or did they both run off at the same time? Can that happen? Didn't see him run off. She was just still standing there. Or sitting there or whatever she does. Anyway, let's just uh, grab this. But anyway, in a rather bizarre ending, that is how you do it. But very strange how... <laughs> Maybe Damon Child just didn't like to be left on her own. And her parents were concerned. And they said, you come back here now. And that's what happened. I don't know. don't know what happened there. That was really weird. Anyway, that's how you do it. That's how I did it. Pretty effective. Terror. Very interesting and fun trait. Well, there's a the video. If you enjoyed it, found it useful or helpful, be really cool if you bash that like and subscribe button. It really does help. But most of all, thanks for watching. I'll catch you again next time. Bye for now.